Carving wood is a cornerstone of First Nation art in the Stalo territory. Rocky LaRock of Chehalis First Nation has built his career while creating his own style, for which he has become well known. I was barbecuing salmon at Jericho Beach for uh, Habitat back in 76. And I seen a, an artist, a sculpture, he was carving this great big driftwood log and he was turning it into a mermaid. So on my breaks I would go out there and I would sit there and watch him. And I thought, wow, that's what I want to do. So since 1977 I've been carving and that's what I do now. I sculpt driftwood, I sculpt wood. The cedar plays a very big role in my culture and in uh, my art. We make all of our totem poles and our ceremonial pieces like the rattles, the masks out of cedar because uh, the cedar is, is very strong, is very powerful and very spiritual to us. I start uh, my carvings out in the woods and I cut my stumps fairly high and then I shape my piece of whatever I'm going to make and then I let uh, the rain, the sun, the snow, the elements color the wood. The wood starts to, to rot and it takes on different colors and then when uh, I feel it's time, there's enough color in the wood, then I cut it off and I take it home and I finish it and that's what I'm doing with this one now. I mostly use uh, bent knives, hook knives, chisels, straight knives. That's how my teachers taught me everything was by hand. Learn the hard way, go slow, don't be in a hurry. You know, you've got to learn to, um, to use your own judgment, to, to learn to balance your artwork and your design. I had a dream one time that I was out in the woods walking around and all of a sudden all of the cedar trees they like transformed into people and totem poles and it was just like I was walking around in a in an old village and it was so powerful it was so so beautiful it just let me know that uh, I'm on the right path and I'm doing the right thing I'm living and doing what I want to do I'm uh, giving a piece of wood life, bringing it, bringing it back to life, putting a lot of myself into each piece that I create.